हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अंकित एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हेयर विद माय डेली प्रडिक्शन एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ गोल्ड नेजडेक हंड्रेड एंड डाउ जोन्स बोथ नेजडेक हंड्रेड एंड डाउ जोन्स रिट्रेज द बिट थ्रू आउट द डे फ्रॉम द यस्टरडेज बुलिश मूव एंड एट द सेम टाइम गोल्ड ट्राई टू ट्रेड बेरिश बट गेट द सपोर्ट एट सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी सी ऑन द अपसाइड आई हैव टोल्ड यू टिल सिक्सटीन एटी फोर एटी फाइव एंड इन फैक्ट टिल सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड यू हैव टू ट्रेल यर स्टॉप लॉस एट द सेम टाइम ऑन द डाउन साइड यू हैव टू वॉच आउट फॉर सिक्सटीन फोर्टी लेवल्स precisely trading in range now what can be expected today with the us cash session we will see with the help of charts and indicators missing on to subscribe is missing on the profits do like share subscribe and comment press the bell icon and watch till the end first we look into gold followed with nasdaq 100 in the end dow jones let's start on the early charts it appears to be consolidating here higher lows lower highs that is what you can you can see definitely there is a resistance which it has got on the upside and it is trying to trade within this range Yes, sixteen fifty is the level below which certainly more bearishness can be expected. But at the same time, sixteen forty seven, sixteen forty levels are the next support. On the upside, you can buy here at sixteen sixty one, but then expect sixteen sixty five, sixty eight level. Sixty eight is going to be a major resistance, which was the level beyond which you can definitely remain long. And then sixteen seventy one, sixteen seventy four levels should come into picture. Beyond that, it will fly. So be you have to be careful in between these levels, and. See indicators are trading either oversold, either bearish on the early charts. Hence, you have to be careful there on the two-hour charts. Likewise, if you see, it is trying to consolidate here. Yes, higher lows are seen. Yes, flat top is also seen, indicating that there is little bearishness, which is letting it not go beyond sixteen sixty levels. And also, this is the second red candle. See, the previous candle has a long tail. Also, there is a support from the Bollinger Bands. Also, indicate that sixteen fifty definitely should be a good support. Only below sixteen fifty, you can expect sixteen forty seven and sixteen forty one levels as the strong support. Below that, see, it is trying to trade within this channel. So look at this. See, previous channels almost lower highs, lower lows. So it is trying to trade in this channel. It utters the high. Probably, if it continues to trade bearish from here on the downside, you can expect sixteen thirty levels also. So wait for it to trade below sixteen fifty, but then expect sixteen forty to provide a support, and below that certainly it is going to touch sixteen thirty. 32 zone be careful yes right now it is in consolidation phase so only buy above 1661 and sell below 1650 levels directional movement is bearish stock has taken entering oversold the macd has crossed over for a sell entry here so remember this fact rsi trading at the bottom on the two hour charts look at the three hour charts on the three hour charts see a wall out there first red candle probably a series of red candles can be expected then it might try to take it further lows you have to be cautious Yes, sell at sixteen fifty, and the upside only buy is at sixteen sixty levels. Beyond that, in fact, till sixteen sixty eight, you have to be. One can remain bearish till sixteen sixty eight. Only bullishness can be seen if it breaks beyond sixteen sixty eight. But then sixteen seventy one, seventy four levels will come into picture. Be cautious in that zone. Directional movement divergent and bearish. Stochastic looking vertically down. The MACD has crossed over for a sell entry on the three hour charts. RSI is flat. And if you look at the four hour charts, look at the four hour charts here. See straight line, two candles, one sharp red, and a reversal, lower highs at the same time. Now again, it is trying to drop. However, trying to get the support on the downside. Yes, if it breaks below sixteen fifty, it will call for more bearishness. Then certainly you can expect sixteen forty seven, sixteen forty one as a very good support. Below that, it may break. At the same time, above sixteen sixty one, you can expect sixteen sixty five, sixty eight. And seventy one. These are the levels beyond that seventy four. And then if it breaks past, certainly it will fly high on the upside. Directional movement is bearish, stochastic looking downwards. The MACD is on the verge of a crossover. RSI trading flat. And if you look at the daily charts, see on the daily charts here, lower highs. And yes, if it continues to drop from here, it can probably come back at worst till towards sixteen forty levels. You have to watch for sixteen fifty. Below that, certainly you can expect little more bearishness. Yes, you can buy at sixteen sixty, but then expect sixteen sixty five and sixteen sixty eight levels as the stronger resistance. Beyond that, it can try to get the resistance at sixteen seventy one, seventy four, seventy five levels, and then beyond that, it will fly high. Directional movement bearish here. The stochastic is near to bottom. The MACD has crossed over for a sell on the daily charts. Remember this fact. It has crossed over for a sell. RSI looking downwards. Consider this. Sell at sixteen fifty. Buy at sixteen sixty. Do not trade within this seven ten dollars. In fact, on the upside, you have to be very cautious for sixteen sixty four sixty five sixteen sixty eight seventy, and then sixteen seventy four levels. In fact, till seventy four seventy five, it has got a strong resistance beyond that seventy eight eighty. 
every two three dollars yes there is a, a stronger resistance still 1680 85 level and remember i have told you several times for the week 1700 is the level only beyond which you can consider it as bullish also below 1640 if you are short at 1650 you can expect 1647 1641 and then 1632 1630 levels should be seen below that further drop can be expected you have to trade with a trailing stop loss in between 1640 and 1700 level Trade accordingly, trade profitably, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Now let's have a look at Nasdaq 100 and yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, taking right entries and right exits at the right time, you can join my mentorship batch. The next batch starts on 7th of November. This is going to be the 16th batch, 90 minutes daily live webinars and a lifetime support is what you get. Reach out to me for more details. Also, please reach out to the correct email id and correct telegram id which is mentioned in the channel and video description please note down there are spammers fraudsters changing a little alphabets changing the uh, icon they will approach you so please stay away only reach out to you remember i will not send the first message to you keep this fact in mind also yes you can be part of my signals group also you can be part of my telegram channel and become a pattern and support the effort now let's have a look at nasdaq 100 see nasdaq 100 on the early charts one high lower highs and yes uh, one lows lower low so you can find out it is trying to trade bearish it is trying to get the resistance on the upside it is definitely trying to act bearish lower lows are getting created on the early charts 10950 definitely a good resistance level and 11070 definitely a stronger resistance I have told you yesterday also 11140 is the level if it trades beyond 11140 certainly more bullishness will be seen. Directional movement bullish is on the early charts stochastic bouncing back the MACD divergent and bearish remember this fact RSI looking up first mix indication here on the early charts. Now look at the 2 hour charts see on the 2 hour charts previous candles lower lows this has got flat top indicates that there is a push from the top side yes if it breaks past this. And if it breaks past 11100, certainly you can expect 11140. Then beyond that, we can expect 11180200. And beyond that, it is going to fly high. Be cautious and alert as it has already created a tail. At the same time, the next candle, if it opens slow, possibly it may give you red candle, taking it further on the downside. Directional movement bearish, a stochastic flat at comfortable levels, MACD in green, RSI flat. Likewise, on the 3 hour charts, now look at the these two candles interestingly lower highs are seen so far it is getting the resistance on the upside that is very clear and it is trying to trade bearish this time a sharper red candle may take it further down and then in fact you can expect it to drop till towards 10950 if it breaks yeah, morning also i have told 10950 definitely good support then 10920 and 840 levels should be seen directional movement is bearish stock stick was overbought look, looking to cool down a bit looking downwards MACD is in green trying to converge a bit RSI trading flat and if you look at the 4 R charts on the 4 R charts yes there could be a stronger resistance at 11100 till 11100 do not think of buying anything beyond that also 11040 is going to be a tough resistance beyond that it will fly high be careful on the downside yes 10950 definitely stronger support than 10920 if it breaks 10920 certainly more bearishness will be seen directional movement bearish stochastic overbought here remember stochastic overbought but it can sustain oversold zone it can sustain overbought levels also directional movement bullish a stochastic trading flat and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts higher highs are seen and if you consider that it is trying to trade bearish you can expect if it gives you a sharper drop below 10 800 certainly you can expect 10 600 levels will be seen and possibly it may try to give you a sing in between this zone that is 11 200 and 10 800 levels 400 points of sing possibly it can give and in fact it can trade beyond uh, 11 200 if it breaks certainly it will call for more bullishness still towards 11 300 400 500 these three levels you should mark out for and hence you have to trade with caution on the upside buy at 11 100 Expect 11140 as the major resistance beyond that definitely it will fly high. So take your positions accordingly and on the downside sell at 11,000 levels. Below that you can expect 10,950 major support, 10,920 next support. Below that certainly it will call for more bearishness still towards 10,880, 10,840, 800, 800. Very strong support out there below 800 it will call for another round of good drop. So take your positions accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a training stop loss. Now let's have a look at Dow Jones trading at 30. 150 140 levels you may find that 
certainly it is getting the resistance there at 3250 it is failing to go past the zone and then 3300 levels these two levels i told you again and again see these lower highs are seen and hence you have to be cautious till 3250 levels and in fact 3300 you have to be cautious of 3300 only if it trades above 3300 you can expect we are looking forward to 3400 500 levels see higher highs lower lows higher lows lower highs it is still trying to consolidate in between this on the downside 30000 29900 levels should be very good support directional movement moderately bullish stochastic trying to bounce back the macd has crossed over it is divergent and bearish rsi is still trading comfortable there and of the two hour charts you will find on the two hour charts higher highs are seen indicating that yes there is an upward push but at the same time look at this it is getting the resistance there 3250 3300 levels any move beyond 3300 stay long do not think of selling anything till the time it trades beyond 3300 levels remember it is trying to give you higher highs and hence see if you consider this and draw a parallel out there you can expect that this is the pivot here at 3050 with that the low there at 29850 the high there at 20 nine uh, 3300 levels probably these 500 le points you have to trade with extra caution directional movement bullish stochastic comfortable the macd has seen the high that is trying to converge a bit rsi at top indicating little more bullishness and if you look at the three r charts certainly on the three r charts this candle has given a breakout and yes it is getting a downward push and possibly once it breaks past this zone at 3250 you can expect 3300 levels the next target and beyond that certainly it will five for 3400 the major resistance and then beyond that 3500 3650 700 levels could be seen on the downside there is a possibility for it to drop till towards 29800 levels directional movement moderately bearish stochastic overbought looking downwards the macd divergent and bullish here the rsi near to overbought levels and if you look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts this is again trying to trade upside but at the same time it is getting a push on the downside if you create a parallel out there it has a potential for it to drop till towards 29,950 levels which is going to be a major support below 29,950 29,900 is the support and only and only if it draws below 29,900 you can expect 29,800 as the major support it is trying to give you a swing be cautious in between 29,800 to 3,300 levels Directional movement moderately bearish stochastic is extremely overbought and that is why it is trying to resist this upward move the macd is bullish trying to converge rsi trading near to top and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts certainly lower highs are seen also look at this this is almost flat bottom here as you can see here it you can see it is almost a flat bottom and it has achieved a double bottom and it is trying to rise once it drops rises beyond 3500 certainly more bullishness will be seen right now for the day there is a possibility of a pullback if it continues to trade bearish certainly there is stronger bearishness there if it gets a pullback probably you have to wait and watch for 29800 level that should be a very strong support if it drops below 29800 more bearishness will fall through you can expect 29,600 and 500 as the major support. On the upside, 29,300 definitely a stronger support. Beyond that, 29,400, uh, 3,400, 3,500 levels will be seen. So take your positions accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. Buy only above at 3,300 levels and sell at 3,150 levels. Below that, certainly you can expect 30. 1100 3050 30000 29950 29900 till here very strong support below that 29800 every 1500 points you have to trail with the trailing stop loss this is dow jones and we have seen yesterday trying to give you strong volatility and hence you have to trade with a strict trailing stop loss till 29800 do not exercise any reluctance with your position you have to put a trailing stop loss strictly as soon as it reverses so that your trade closes in profit to so trade accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you